Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Greece. And we are going for a diplomacy victory. Things are looking pretty nice. We're making 23 diplomatic favor per turn, and we have ourselves eight out of the 20 points required, but another four on the way in four turns once the Statue of Liberty is finished. Things are, as they say, looking up for Millhouse. Now, there is a diplomatic victory point somewhere hidden up here in the, um, in the old culture tree. I kind of haven't had many emergencies that gave me an opportunity to, um, to get my, my, my thingies up, my, my diplomatic victory points, which is a little bit unfortunate. However, Sweden is in the game, so we'll start to see more of those things come down the wire. And that should open up some opportunities for us to, uh, you know, keep the ball rolling. Otherwise, though, I'm mostly just focused on kind of getting builders out, improving my territory, making sure that we're we're on track for like really, really, really good yields, making sure we've got a ton of improved tiles, all that sort of jazz. Do you like jazz? I like jazz. You know what? Hot take. Jazz is okay. Ja jazz is jazz is dis demonstrably okay. That that's my hot take of the day. There you go. You can take that one to the bank. Now, the interesting thing is we're at the stage of the game where um, not a lot's going to happen for a while. <laughs> so so I could just ramble. I could just talk complete and utter bollocks for the next, uh, you know, hour. And there's nothing my editor can do about it. He's just going to have to sit here and, uh, you know, enjoy the video. Just like you guys. Just like you guys. He's sitting here enjoying the video. We're also working on Orzagaz, by the way. And uh, it has a silly name. We're going to work on the zoo in Ephesus. Oh, yes. Looking forward to those science yields in there. I think it would be a good idea for me to build um, some of these things. Can I get a 15 pop city anywhere? Uh, no, getting a 15 pop city somewhere would be really, really difficult because I've already done a lot of harvesting. So I don't think we'll be able to boost urbanization. Scorched Earth is already researched. Radio, let's see, where is radio? Radio's a little bit far out with my current tech level. So I'm not sure that's gonna work. On the other hand, I can get the four sewers for democracy. And we definitely want democracy because it gives you that plus four food, plus four production for trading with suzerain cities. And also that 15% uh, discount on gold purchases is very, very nice. Now this era ends in nine turns. And I think I'm going to just squeeze out one more builder or, or one more one more settler rather in this city. And we'll be able to do that soon. And then we're going to look to try to spread our religion a little bit to places nearby because we're actually getting about 30 science per turn from our uh, religion at the moment, which is pretty damn nice. Click here, buy the pearls. And then I think there might be someone who's willing to buy them. Like I don't think Shaka has pearls. So maybe he'd give me a good deal. Seven gold per turn for pearls, hell yes. And he'll actually give me 10 for diamonds too. So let's make sure we get some friendships and sell off these really, really nice luxury resources. All the money that we can get for them, oh my God. Egypt is just buying today. She is buying all the luxuries, all of them for 10 gold. Holy crap, that's a ton of gold. We're up to 400 gold per turn. That's a little bit crazy right now. Speaking of envoys, uh, we're sitting on four envoys. Let's look for more suzerain teas. Uh, Fez might be a good one. Geneva is kind of Wait, did anyone ever build Kilwa? Yeah, somebody built Kilwa. So Kilwa would have been a really good move this game. I totally forgot to get it. You know what? Let's put the one turn into machinery. I, I just, you know, I had a brain fart and just completely forgot that Kilwa exists and it would have been amazing for this game. I, I should have, honestly. <laughs> I kind of feel embarrassed that I forgot that it was there. Let's take Suzerainty of Bologna for that extra grey people points that they provide. And let's see, we're sitting on two envoys. We could get Suzerainty of Granada. Cool, more era score. And you know what? Suzerainty of Jerusalem. Also very cool, which actually gave us a circumnavigation. We just got a ton of error score. We're actually 10 error score away from a golden age. Huh, what could I... If I get conservation and pop out a naturalist... Oh, that could work, actually. Where could I buy things? Let me see. If I buy the amphitheater and create a great work and maybe buy an archaeologist in the capital? Seven turns. It's going to be hard to get that down any sooner. I know we might be able to pull off something here. All right, let's go ahead and grab the university in Argos because we're low on the old science. It would be good to get another entertainment complex up here for the um, for the amenities in the local area because we can boost a lot of our cities in the nearby area, especially because we have um, 
Is it Buenos Aires or is it it's Mexico that gives you the extra range on those things, which is going to work out very, very cool. Nice. We got a pagoda in here. I kind of want a district that will give me some growth. Um, this city just needs food, really. And I don't really have a way to get that food, except maybe with a preserve. Hmm. No, nowhere nearby that has a good preserve. If this mountain tile wasn't here, maybe these would be a feasible place to do things. But otherwise, I think a commercial hub is going to be the way we get growth in here by getting another trade route. Boom, Cahokia Mount in Olympia for the extra amenity. Uh, this place already has a Cahokia Mount, so it doesn't need it. I'm trying to find like good spots for Cahokia Mounts because they give you a ton of amenities. And amenities are, you know, they're, they're pretty gravy, especially since they got some changes in the um, in the latest update. Oh no, so we missed out on the Colossus. That sucks. Not, not the end of the world. I mean, Colossus really is only an extra trade route. And we do have overflow production now that we can put into like an archaeological museum. And I will totally accept that as a runner up prize. Let's see. Uh, I definitely want to get rid of that privateer. Let's get some adjacency and then attack there. Boom, he's dead. I think this is a good enough spot to put a city. Pretty much blocks off all of the land on my continent that's left. And there's a not so bad horse tile here that will give this city something good to work. Let's place the harbor and I guess we'll purchase this and this, then slowly work on the harbor and we'll try to get the city to grow. Statue Sunset of Day. Liberty Shots is down. complete. Awesome. So we should be up to now 12 diplomatic victory points, which is an absurd amount. We're 11 ahead the, the next the player. Range. There's machinery. Did anyone end up building the Kilwa? <gasps> Ooh, nobody built the Kilwa. Nobody built the Kilwa. Where do I have a good production city to get the Kilwa? I mean, I feel like Argos is the right place to do it. Let me have a look. See through here. Um, anywhere with like a flat tile on the coast with good production. Yeah, no, you know what? I think Argos is the right spot. So we'll kill the Cahokia Mount and get that Kilwa Kisawani up. We got our Statue of Liberty, which is dead cool. One might say that it is awesome possum. This is a good city for a commercial hub to get another, like even more trade routes. I also could use a bit of science. I need to keep an eye out for good, good sciencey stuff. But this place already has a harbor, which means the Gilded Vault will secure us an extra trade route. Is that what I really want to do in here, though? Do I just go water park? Water park is kind of neat, but trade route, trade routes are king. So we'll just, we'll just go for the trade route. Magnus is established here. Let's go ahead and faith purchase a settler. Then we'll begin the harvesting. Commercial hub right there. Harvest. Kaboom, almost done already. Kill that privateer, it is gone. Oh, we're finding more and more privateers. There's just a ton of privateers running around here in the wild. Now, I believe we have natural history, which means that you can actually get two amenities from Cahokia Mounts. If I double check that, we find Cahokia, we hover over here. Cities receive plus one amenity from their first Cahokia Mount, and upon discovering natural history, they get plus one amenity from their second Cahokia Mount. So ideally, finding some spots for these Cahokia Mounts would actually be pretty cash money. All right, boom, combustion, awesome. Barbarians, click. Need, need more era score. We're very, very, very much so riding the edge of the, the era score. Ooh, did I never improve tobacco? I swear I built, I swear I built a thing on that, but maybe I totally just forgot. Catastrophic eruption, it's in someone else's borders. Um, I am dealing with a pretty hefty amount of these like, naval units but i think both these guys should have a promotion now so we should be fine should be totally fine to take that on let's harvest in here finish that awesome don't think we need any of this let's get to work on the market for the trade route the settler can switch and we'll jump into the water maybe try to settle this like weird like reverse japan island looking thing actually has a tribal village on it too maybe i'll send a little pikeman with him actually that actually got me an envoy speaking of which i keep forgetting to check these missions train a privateer i could do that where will i do a train a privateer mission it needs to be somewhere that's not busy gnosis how's it going buddy you get me a privateer send a trade route to balon balona that's pretty far away it may be possible hatusa also wants a trade route they're equally far away fez wants a trade route they're like pretty far away Trade routes, trade routes, trade routes. Zanzibar wants me to get a great engineer, which will happen. And so does Geneva. Depending on how quickly I get this guy. Yeah, I'm going to get it before the era takes over when new missions appear. So that should be fine. Rather than rather than spending the money on the privateer, or rather than building the privateer, I might just purchase it to try and refresh those missions a little bit quicker. Uh, Jerusalem wants a skirmisher. Where could I do a skirmisher in a reasonable amount of time? It would have to be before the era ends, so five turns I think is the limit in order to get the refreshed missions. Great scientist. So two people want me to get a great scientist, and Laventa 
wants uh, a trade route too. So some of these are, are definitely doable. I think with enough with enough planning and prep work, we should be able to pull this off. And getting getting a third golden age in a row is going to be huge for us. Like I really can't emphasize how big it's going to be that we're going to be getting insane trade routes here in a sec. All right, we got a little bit, just a little bit of a problem. Let's double promote these guys so they're going to absolutely smash their way through that. I do feel like our archaeological museums are an important source of science and culture sitting on three envoys i could take suzerty of laventa which is neato i could also nab venice which is kind of cool i want to prioritize people i can't really trade with and laventa is kind of hard to trade with so i'm going to take suzerty of them plus like just the, the diplomatic favor is, is is massive chop in here to finish that now we can get the amphitheater and we'll equally chop i'll buy one more builder in here and then i think it's conversion time i think it's time we get an apostle and we also get ourselves um, some inquisitors just to clear up a little bit of the religion that's going on here. Actually, it seems to have cleared itself up, but there is a lot of um, enemy pressure in my cities. So if I send around some inquisitors to eliminate that pressure, I can get more science because I get ha I get a quarter of a science for every person that's following my um, my religion. How do I get more error score? Let's think about this. I think researching conservation will give me a little bit of error score. And then suzerainty gave me error score. So maybe that'll be enough if I can if I can nab another suzerainty. Especially because conservation gives me three envoys. I might be able to sneak in another suzerainty and you know be off to the races. Let's have a look for tobacco inside of Greece. We have two copies of tobacco, but this city of Corinth already has an industry. So I think Sparta, and actually funny enough, Sparta getting tobacco gives it a military production boost, which is kind of neat, you know, considering Sparta is like, you know, traditionally considered, you know, a militaristic city-state in Greece, which is kind, again, very, very cool. All right, bye-bye. Clearing this up. We got a great person. Boom, great engineer, era score. Then we also get a great admiral. Boom, era score. And another writer. Boom, era score. Things are looking really great for us. What do you do, Francis Duke? You instantly create a privateer. Oh, I don't even need to get that. So boom, just another envoy. Click. Free privateer, awesome. That frees up a bunch of gold that I'd plan to spend on. Then only the real thing that I think matters is the skirmisher finishing and maybe recruiting a great scientist. Could I do that? Can I get a great scientist? No, Albert Einstein who is who's up for grabs. That's just not gonna happen at the moment. So me, Marshan. Okay, I definitely, definitely wanna get Brutaleshi. So I think we just, I think we just use this guy to get the industrial zone culture bombs, which is kind of neat. Start an inquisition, click. I'm going to save all my gold for buying a great person. I'm going to get a couple inquisitors to help clean up my religion because there's a couple of cities here that have a little bit too much of opposing religions. And it's it's not great because I, that's science I'm missing out on, essentially. So basically, I'm converting my science or my, uh, my faith into science at the moment. Chop, boom, amphitheater completed. And now the city is up to a population level where we could consider another district. The harbor seems kind of neat. Um, it would work really well with the um the extra envoy and stuff like that and then we'll pop in here we'll chop there and then we'll get this city like look at this population of the city it's already eight pop it was only settled a few turns ago this is the power of magnus and chopping now in terms of what i want to do in this city it actually has kind of good appeal so that we could make this a alcazar city now i need to remember can i don't think alcazars can be built next to each other so maybe it would be a good idea to just do one or two like that, just to get that little bit of extra science and culture in here. I don't know, that seems like a cool idea to me. Like put an Alcazar on the three corners so it's like a little fortress island. Ooh, that's really cool. Let's grab loot. I'd meant to peace out John Curtin, but I could go pillage his coastline. I think, I think I'll look for peace now. I think, I think we've been at war long enough. And it's kind of a pointless war too. I'll give him a resident embassy. Let's do open borders, see if he'll take them. There we go. Naturally, he took our offer of open borders. And I've got a horsey man running around near his territory. Oh, sorry, wait, no, he's up here. Interesting. Cultural alliance with, yep, Egypt. Maybe the wrong save to get a cultural alliance with. I'd meant to do a different one. I think there was meant to be a, uh, a different kind of alliance there. I just thought, uh, I saw Egypt and I thought it was Sweden, but that's okay, that's okay. Conservation is unlocked. There's the naturalist. We have the era score for the for the golden age so we don't actually need we don't actually need to do this what you call it we don't need to get the um naturalist immediately but i am gonna get a naturalist very soon make sure to save our gold where would i actually like a trade route you know what argos could use a trade route to speed up its um production here even if it's only a little bit a little bit adds up over time let's work on ideology claim great person 
boom. First great musician. Bolshoi Theater could be a good get this game, especially because it has two envoys there. And Grand Opera could be valuable. I don't know. Will that, you know what? We're gonna unlock Opera and Ballet. Maybe think about building the Bolshoi Theater. Two free civics is huge. It's a ton, and I mean a ton of culture. Plus the extra great people points, the extra great work slots. We get all sorts of good stuff from our great works. Um, we have the harbor, we have the commercial. The only thing we're missing in here is the Acropolis. So let's pop that down. And then after that, it might actually just be like a holy site to, that we need to get in here. Acropolis done in Farslos. Amphitheater, boom. Sitting on four envoys. Let's pop one into, fe you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna switch out for like one or two turns. This card will plug in the Diplomatic League card real quick. We'll send one Envoy to these two bad boys, kaboom. And then we can bring both of them up to three to make our universities even stronger. And especially also, uh, if we come into this city and look at the Chancery, like look at this consulate. Oh my God, yes. Wait, can I refresh this? Huh, weird. I'm not getting the extra science in my Chancery. Oh, I need to bring it up to the other level, but yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll need to bring it up to a similar level as Anshan. But yeah, look look at the science we're getting in here from that. It might be good. I, I definitely need to get a couple more campuses. I need to like find a good candidate spot. Maybe Fakea could have been good, but Corinth may be a campus city. I, I just need that little bit, just that little bit more science. So in here, we have 11 population. And I don't think a remove heresy is worth it here. Whereas in here, uh, Mycenae, it may actually be worth Gnosis is another city where it's probably worth it as well. I want to spend these inquisitorial charges sparingly to secure as many followers as possible. Okay, I can't spend my gold, but I will have these builders in position. Let's keep faith buying builders while we still have the opportunity. Or you know what? I think a trader is actually just as good. And I'm going to do it in Argos because I want. I, if I could secure that kill well, oh my god. This game becomes officially, like, just busted with how strong I am uh, if I can get the um, the Kilwa even more. Will. Great works. Like, look at this. I'm making 28 signs for my great works of writing. How is this not busted? Totally. Like, I really, really love just carefully micromanaging my empire to where... Oh, I'm no longer a suzerain of Bolo Bologna. Uh, I need to fix that because Bol Bologna are actually pretty important to my strategy. But I'm getting two envoys from Opera and Ballet, so that works out just fine. Oh, very nice. Look at that. We got the zoo in Ephesus. Look at these tiles, man. I actually need to get a harvest in here so that I may um, I may get a builder over here to actually put a lumber mill there. But god damn. Gilded Vault. I think we go for the Archaeological Museum. I think actually an art museum makes sense because I'm about to get another artist. So, well, but this is a really productive city and really productive cities should get archaeological museums because archaeological museums require you to also build the archaeologist. Uh, speaking of which, speaking of archaeological museums in highly productive cities, Mycenae has finished its archaeological museum. I do want a sewer in here, but I'm going to prioritize the archaeologist again for the science. Now, I am going to be getting a decent amount of culture from here, but... I mean, I have 12 out of 110 tourists, but it's not my priority. So constantly increasing my tourism just isn't my goal. Yeah, like right here, this is like, this is actually a pretty good candidate to um, drive off other religions. Because now the city is fully following my religion and I'm getting an extra half a point of, or a quarter point of science from it. And any population that grows in here should be fully following my religion. Where do I settle the city here? Um, well, there's actually, there's actually a really damn good campus right there so I think that's gonna factor into my decision making and I'd also like an Acropolis there's quite a few things I want in this city so I think right there actually suits me quite well all right let's see can we actually hmm I do want Kilwa faster but it's only two production in a 42 production city could I maybe trade with like Bologna if I had a trade route over here in say Mycenae I think, I think this is going to cause me to do a, a reshuffle of my trade routes over to this side of my empire. The world enters the industrial era and John Curtin's a bit upset about my golden age again. We have industrialization. We can now see coal and all of our mines get plus one production. We have access to the factory and the coal power plant as well as Ruhr Valley if we so wish to go for it. We also have Bolshoi Theatre and Grand Opera. How good is Grand Opera? It's only worth eight culture at the moment. That is depressingly low compared to aesthetics. I feel like this card was nerfed a little bit too heavily, maybe. Anyway, we'll take out Diplomatic League. And I really want to be running Charismatic Leader, but it's hard to justify that. It's hard to justify that in the face of something like Raj, or for example, Trade Confederation, liberalism as well. Like there's so many good things, but I really, really, really like the idea of keeping invention plugged in because those great engineer points are quite hard to come by. 
and there's a few great engineers that I really want. Anyway, industrial era, kaboom. Let's grab Hexontracones. Could be neat, because I am settling. No, this is Atlantica, never mind. I'm actually settling on my own continent. So that doesn't do anything for me. I think Reform the Coinage. Yeah, I think Reform the Coinage is the move here. Heartbeat of Steam is kind of cool, but Reform the Coinage, I think, to, to just get that extra gold, get that, get that bread, you know what I'm saying? All right, sanitation is complete. We have industrialization. Now we'd like to head towards economics for Big Ben and possibly even corporations. Uh, we have urbanization, neighborhood, forced modernization. So I think urban, well, I think scorched earth, urbanization, mass media, mobilization, ideology, into democracy so i need to start thinking about those those uh sewers getting close there all right cool so granada has a mission to trade with them i will do that all of our city-state missions were refreshed but let's see if we can steal suzerainty of someone let's have a look here bologna is important enough for me to put an envoy in there immediately there's a ton of great people points and then otherwise i might just put one i might just hold on to this one for a bit i could plug it into geneva that would give me a little bit of science actually it's like four science from placing an envoy there which is pretty respectable oh man we're even settling on coal that's incredible we're currently getting nine coal per turn let's have a look and see where the coal is all right we got coal under here under here and here awesome right so we've actually hit what looks to be about four tiles of coal in our current planned empire that's perfect. That's a ton of coal. Now, the worry is here that we need to keep in mind is um, the CO2 levels are going to start increasing rapidly, which means lots of flooding. So I'll need... Um, I'll need flood barriers very, very soon. So science is going to become an inc like almost a crisis yield. <sighs> Claim a great artist. I think I'm building an art museum here. Let's get our great artist shifted on over to Ephesus. You know, the, the, the flooding might become such a crisis that it may actually be not worth it for me to um, to build coal power plants. I may actually skip them and try to maybe play more with renewables. Anyway, let's grab Filippo. Boom, we have him now. That's three error score. He's in the capital. I'll be able to shunt him over to Argos to finish that a little bit sooner. And uh, I think Orzgaz is pretty much in the bag. Let's go ahead and inquisitorialize the city. Make it entirely my religion. Secure ourselves more science. And now I feel safe uh, being able to purchase these tiles and then chop. We'll work on the Gilded Vault for even more trade routes and then chop. And then we'll put a couple of Alcazars down and then a few mines or something. Uh, who knows what we'll do, right? We got conservation. Boom. Click. Coal. Mine. Got 20 coal from that, uh, <laughs> from that tribal village as well. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing with coal? You guys are crazy. Who has coal? 10 turns until the next session. And I'm a little bit worried about how much diplomatic favor is in the world. So I might go through and just try to buy. Like, I don't know how much people were happy to sell. Yeah, see, people won't sell it to me anymore because I'm above the, um, because I'm above the threshold that makes them angry. Makes them very upset about the fact that you have a uh, Diplo favor. So getting Diplo favor from here on out is going to be tough. Going to be tough. We're going to have to maybe rely on some sneaky tactics. And, uh, you know, if all else fails, we'll get another culture victory. <laughs> That's right. You thought this was going to be a diplomacy game? No, my fallback strategy is culture, baby. All right, teleport you over to Argos. Boom. Oh, we found Mitla. Mitla are cool because they give you that growth when you have the campuses. I really want to have Geneva, actually, because Geneva is the one that gives you that 15% science when you're not at war. That could be huge for us. Boom, Alcazar. Boom, Alcazar. Let's buy ourselves another builder in this city. Oh, I can't afford them. Well, you know what? That's just too bad. Ah, privateer, how dare you? Get out of here. Let's reassign Magnus over to the newly settled city of Mytileni. Mytileni? <laughs> what? I don't know how to pronounce that city's name. Mytileni? Lanolum? Linoleum? All right, Research Alliance with Christina. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm expecting a Nobel Prize to appear now. All right, we have urbanization. We could go for neighborhoods. I don't think neighborhoods does a huge amount for us. Ooh, man, we want Gustav Eiffel. Guess I'm saving up my gold for him. All right, great merchant, John Spilsbury. Here's the thing. I could save him for corporations, but also toys are great. You get like plus four amenities versus a corporation. I think I take the amenities. Hell yeah, dude. Give me those amenities. Starting to work on a lot of my gilded vaults now. 
for those juicy, juicy trade routes in cities with harbors. Yeah, let's just stuff all these into Geneva, see if we can't make friends with them. Boom, Filippo, click. Kilwa, oh my god. Three envoys, and now my entire empire gets a 15% yield boost if I'm suzerain of two city-states of the same type. That is ridiculous. R ridiculous. Look at this. Oh my god, 30% gold in here. Oh man, my empire is now absolutely insane. Like, I don't even know how to describe how ridiculous. Like, 15% might not seem like much, but it is massive when you apply it across an entire empire. Because, like, think of it. I've got two... I've got two industrial city-states. I've got two fate city-states. I've got two military... I've got three militaristic city-states. I've got two... So I've got science. I, I'm basically my entire empire now is just fifteen percent better. Like, look at this production in here. It's ten point nine production is coming from Kilwa in here. Uh, a, like a, a, a similar amount of science, like like five science. Uh, you know, like another six science in here. Um, what looks to be about six science, like or six faith. It, it seems like it seems like small, but it's actually huge because it's applied across so many. It's like, it, it's as if all of my cities were just fifteen percent better. I don't know how else to like phrase that and explain just how crazy that is. Ah, oh, somebody neutralized Pingal in my capital. Probably about the time that I got a spy in here and defended this city. But there's Orzgaz, hundred percent diplomatic favor from city states. We are making forty two diplomatic favor per turn that is insane dude legitimately insane yields i'm getting right now i don't think i've ever seen my diplomatic favor number go that high let's hold on to philip well do i have another do i have another wonder that i really want it could be neat to go for the biosphere um i don't need the tourism though if i really think about that one is there a wonder on hand that i could grab i could always do a bolshoi or a hermitage i don't know about the hermitage maybe Taj Mahal, or I could swipe up Ruhr Valley somewhere. Like if I swap this tile and then come into my capital, I could buy a factory and start working on Ruhr. Like buy factory, boom, click, done. Work on Ruhr, click, boom, done. Sure, I lose a Cahokia amount, but it's Ruhr Valley, dude. Like it's rare. It is rare that you'll find a better a better wonder. All right, Filippo, do your work. Get that Ruhr Valley up. This I think this is actually some of the like the most amount of wonders I've ever built in a single game of Civ 6. I never build this many wonders, like ever. I maybe go for like four or five, but I, I legitimately think I have like 10 wonders. Hang on. If we search for wonders in Greece, yeah, I have actually like 10 wonders uh, this game so far, which is crazy, crazy good. I actually forgot I even had the Oracle here. Somebody built Taj Mahal, so I'm glad I didn't actually waste a charge on the Filippo in there. Boom, click, three turns off of the Ruhr Valley. Actually, this is gonna, this city's gonna be insane because almost every single tile in here is a mine. Faith purchase a naturalist, because I do want that national park for that little bit of amenities. And I think you also get some era score from it. We got the university in Argos. What's next on our agenda? Hmm. I feel like growth is actually huge in this city. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but maybe we just do neighborhoods in here to try to get this city to grow more. Cause we have all these like amazing coastal tiles that we can work. And really we just want this city working as many tiles as possible to get as much yields. So anything short of that, just neighborhood spam, boom, click, let's do it. There is something to be said for going for the Huey Toa Kali, cause that would be a ton of amenities and it would make the few lake tiles I have in my empire quite a bit better. And like, am I gonna go for the Lake Petra as well? Is that what's happening? I think that's what's happening right now. We're going for the Lake Petra, let's do it, baby. Four amenities in here, plus, you know, we get the, the Lake Petra. Nice national park, get that four era score and a ton of amenities in the capital city. It also extends amenities out if I remember correctly. So there's a ton of benefits for going for the, um, going for national parks. Like they're just, they're, they're really, like I really can't emphasize enough how much work they do for you uh, behind the scenes. Like right, chop here, boom, harbor, nice. Here we go boys, we have stock exchanges, we have Big Ben, we have corporations and we are ready to use them. I should have maybe saved Filippo for, uh, for Big Benis, but uh, you know what? Uh, I did not. And uh, therefore, uh, Big Ben, excuse me, Gilded Vault. Are you gonna make me spend my money? Okay, fine. All right, Big Ben, let's go. Click, 27 turn build. Can I get more production in here? I probably could. Emphasize production and growth, yes. Can I switch a tile? Clean, 25 turns now. Maybe I could get a builder over there. Um, Yeah, but with the unlock of Big Ben, I'm starting to get worried about climate change. It's three turns until the first flood. So I think it's a computer's beeline from here on out, boys. We just, we need those flood barriers. 
We need him. We need him. We need him yesterday. If I'm, if I'm being, uh, if I'm being straight up, like, uh, yeah, I think I sacrifice a bit of production here for a campus. Click, chop, boom. Very happy. One turning a lighthouse in this city. It's gonna give me a ton of food and production. Also, kill the barbarian encampment with my pikemen too. That was kind of fun. It was kind of like a role reversal. Oh my sweet Jesus Christ! All right, we're gonna we're gonna need like a force over here to fight all that. The real question is though, where the hell am I building? Uh, <laughs> where the hell am I building the um, the Bolshoi theater? Like, that has good production and isn't going to take me a decade. I'm the only one building Big Ben according to my search result. So I'm going to try to, like, sit on my gold for a very, very long time. Essentially try to, like, get the entire uh, gold worth from Big Ben. Like, from now until when Big Ben is completed, boosted. Ooh, Agos. First neighborhood with high adjacency. Oh, actually, no, it was just the first neighborhood in the world. Plus three error score. Very cool. Pretty based. Now, I want to get stock exchanges, but I'm worried about my power consumption um, come the time of, you know, the reckoning. <laughs> the, the, the apocalypse is nigh, as they say. So I'm, I'm, a little bit, I'm a little bit reticent. I'm a little bit hesitant to, uh, to get those things. Hermitage. Man, I really want to build Bolshoi. All right. So I'm not really sure what people are going to go for. I definitely, I definitely feel like people will vote up the Nobel Peace Prize. So I could probably put like a hundred Diplo favor into that pretty reliably. And I'm also pretty sure that Catherine is still the most hated person in the world. So I can just like throw that at her. Let's quickly check that, right? Look here. Yep. Pretty much everyone hates Catherine. So yep. You could sit there with your nasty skull, but listen, this is entirely you hoisting yourself by your own petard. Don't even, don't even, don't even try to throw that shade at me, all right? Now, the patronage one is a little bit harder. On the one hand, we know Pedro is voting up, and we just need to find what... What, what great person is he making the most points in? And it looks like Pedro is... Uh, let's see. It looks like he's mostly leading a science victory. Like, he's, he's kind of... It's kind of competitive, but he's mostly leading. So I would guess that it looks like he may... Yeah, I think he may vote for great scientist points. But usually the AI like tries to vote down what they're earning the least of and someone has like a big lead on them. So like you can see here, I'm making 15 great merch, great engineer points. And there's a couple people only making like six, seven, like two, three, et cetera. There's a couple people making zero. So I think it would be pretty likely that it could be possible for great admirals to get voted down. Great generals are unlikely. Um, let's see, 31 merchant points. Oh man, look at the look at the differential here. I'm making way more merchant points than anyone. I think it's pretty likely. I think it's pretty likely people are gonna vote for great merchants here. Although, man, I'm I'm also kind of torn on great engineers. But I, I I have twice as many great merchant points as I have great engineer points. And I think they usually just try to like, you know, you screw whoever has like the most points in something. Yeah. If you look, I just I just am making the most points in any category. I mean, Brazil is the only one who's close. So yeah, as far as I can tell, I, I reckon it's going to be a great merchant block. So we also want to vote in favor of a great merchant block. And we also want to vote pretty heavily to try and force it to make sure that it happens in case there's like a split vote. Um, otherwise, yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll hold up the 22 Diplo favor, but I, th I think that's a reasonable world Congress for us to throw out there. Well, Boom, Ruhr Valley, awesome. Them. Lots of stuff happening. Uh, no points of what are the great merchant class? Yes, perfect, amazing. Plus one diplomatic victory point there. And we successfully predicted Catherine and it looks like the Nobel Peace Prize passed. And we should do pretty well the Nobel Peace Prize or Nobel Prize in, in literature rather, because we have um, we have like a ton of great writers and artist points. I think we may actually be top producer for those things this game. So this is basically just free boosts for me if I ever want to go to rock bands. Not that I will. Let's grab a library. We're also going to go for the university in this city. We need that science. We're a little bit behind on science. Just a, just a, just a scooch. Stop stealing bologna from me, you jerk. Um, do I want to be suzerain of Fez? I don't care so much about that. I care more about Geneva. Boom. Especially because that's my second suzerainty. I think I'll grab Hattusa for a safe uh, third suzerainty, if that makes sense. So that if one is taken from me, I still have a buffer where I can, um, you know, having the buffer will allow me to sort of go, you know, in case one is stolen from me, I still have a, I still have a bit of room. Let's put you into Ephesus. My God, there's even more land down here. Settlers just get so crazy expensive that it's hard to actually settle all the land in a game. Oh, we found Hercules' club. Yoinks. Thanks for that one. Uh, sorry, you can't lay claim to history. I apologize. I'm not making a promise because I plan to dig up all of her relics that I can find. Ooh, we found flight. 
That if is cool. Uh, more importantly, that gives us a bit of tourism and stuff. Although we care less about the tourism. Ideology is pretty close. Uh, we care less about the tourism, although we are generating like a decent amount of tourism considering we haven't made any efforts towards it at all. To sign Pingala to the capital, Kaboosh. And we will promote him with Researcher and Grants now that he is a great people point producer. Ooh, Levy on Mass, 17 gold. Don't mind if I do. Any cards that I want to switch out here? I don't think I need Invention. Well, I am saving up for Eiffel, I think. Is it Eiffel or Brunelleschi? I think we already got Brunelleschi. Yeah, it's Eiffel. I could buy Eiffel. When's my next thing? Maybe I buy Eiffel soon? I don't have... I mean, I could use... I, I, so here's a problem. I could buy Eiffel and use him to finish the Big Ben. But by buying Eiffel, I ruined the benefit that Big Ben gives me aside. Unless, unless I really highly value that economic card, then that becomes a little bit of an easier decision. Can we have another search? Another search for Big Ben here. Yeah, I'm still the only one that I know is building it. So I feel safe just sitting on my laurels and uh, seeing if we can't squeeze. Can't just squeeze out that Big Ben before anyone else can. Oh my God, there's even a little marsh island down here. That would be so cool with the Lady of Reeds and Marshes uh, Pantheon. There we go, we got our fourth sewer, which gave us the boost for suffrage and the appease the gods is happening. Now, this might be might be a good time to actually participate in the Appease the Gods. Cause, uh, oh, I can get Bolshoi Theater in my capital. I think I have to do that. Two free civics? That's ridiculous. If I'm gonna do that though, I need to like reform church theocracy grab and then go for ideology. So yeah, it would be like divine right, reform church, make sure we pick up capitalism and then ideology and maybe try to like delay our culture as well so we don't get, a civic that we don't care for. Boom, university. My science is starting to be very respectable. My culture is insane, but my, my science is respectable. I got a lot of empty trade routes that I got to fill out. Just all about trying to find um, the right time and place to like build them. That, that's the hard thing is just finding a city that isn't busy. Uh oh, the first flood happened. I don't like it. We lost some horses on a farm. How long until the next flood? 14 turns. That's a problem. That's a problem because we're not going to have our, um, we're not going to have our flood defenses up in time because we are more than 14 turns away. That's, that's a yikes from me, dog. I'm pretty, pretty scared about that one. That could end very, very poorly for us. We're up to 14 diplomatic victory points, which is huge. I'm wondering though, if another Congress will happen before the next era, because I think if it does, I might be able to sneak up all the way to 16 uncontested. And then I just need to like squeeze out a couple extra points. And we have, uh, we've basically got the game in the bag. The only Petra I'm missing is the, um, is the Tundra Petra. So I'd like to see if I could get one. You know what? Let's go ahead and place the commercial hub in here and see if we can sneak out a settler. Get that up to the north. Ooh, we yoinked the mantles of the hero twins as well. Just out here yoinking people's relics all day, every day. Farsalos is essentially finished now until it's able to build another district or even higher tier buildings. We've got basically everything we want from it, so I can just kind of work on stuff. Like maybe it would be good to just grab Sinbad. This is a very, very roundabout way to trade with Fez. Holy Jesus Christ. So it starts in Maitilin, it goes all the way down to Argos, through Anshan, through um, Kabul, then into Fez. Like what? None of my other cities can reach this, but somehow, somehow this city can hit this. Whatever, I, you know what, I accept. <laughs> I accept your trade route. Ooh, you know what I forgot though? Getting stock exchanges is like a pretty good way to um, open up some new yields from the product slots, like faith yield. Is there anything actually I really want a lot of? There's growth. I do have a diamonds industry here in Mycenae. You know what? Uh, I'm really tempted. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna spend the money here on this guy so I can make a corporation and then I'll work on a stock exchange in here and once I have that stock exchange, I'll be able to make diamonds and just like uber pump this city for gold. No, somebody stole my Huey Toa Kali. Rest in peace. Well, at least the city has a ton of production saved up, but I can get a gilded vault in three turns. I just want you to take a moment to appreciate the consulate and chancery right now, both of them making 12 gold and uh, around about 12 science as well, with a little bit of faith. This is the power of the diplomatic quarter. I feel like people need to build these more. Um, it gives you a lot of long-term value. I mean, it's probably not great if you're going for like a super fast turbo win, speed run or whatever. But if you, if you play like I do, where you kind of go for more late game -y kind of wins, um, it's really fun to use. 
Oh my sweet Jesus, this entire island was made up of floodable terrain. Look at this, the whole thing has just been absolutely obliterated by flooding. Talk about apocalypse, dude. I was, oh no, I was about to say I was going to settle this and now France <laughs> appears out of nowhere with their shitty settler. Oh, you fool, don't settle this, you moron. Cool, we got ideology. Wait, what card went obsolete just there? Uh, I'm actually not sure what card just went obsolete there. Gunboat Diplomacy is cool. I may plug that in. I don't remember what I had here. I know it was something good. God damn it. What was it? Why can't I remember what it was? I can, I can never do this. Oh, it was Economic Union. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I, I have to take Economic Union, but that's actually critical uh, for my harbor cities. Although I could like neglect it and instead plug in market economy and get a ton of science and you know, or even Raj, like Raj is really good right now. Gunboat Diplomacy. I think I lose Invention. Well, no, I need Invention to get Eiffel. Damn it. I'm, I feel really constrained. I need, you know what I need? I need, I need the goddamn Big Ben to finish. <laughs> and I need, I need my democracy government so I can fit more cards in here. Because I just, I just don't have the room. All right, Adam Smith, you're going to found the first corporation in the world. And this will be uh, Dogecoin. Uh, this will be the Dogecoin Corporation, which of course was founded in uh, 1280 AD. And we're going to get to work building a stock exchange so we can start mass producing the uh, diamond doge coins. But that's going to be it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.